Olivia's at the country club. Get in. I'll run you through the plan. Have a listen. Not for nothing, Olivia Marcano's a real piece of work. I still don't understand why Olivia Marcano was involved in any of this. By all accounts, she had two or three times the money that Sal Marcano had. Money didn't mean shit to her. From what I was able to piece together, she hired someone to kill Lucho. Wanted to run things herself. Bottom line, I think she got off on all that mob bullshit. We're fucked, Olivia. You understand? That fucking shit stain Duval didn't name us in the will. Now everything's going to his goddamn nephew. Have you actually reviewed the will? I read the part that said all the land I'm building my casino on is now going to Stephen motherfucker DeGamo. I read that part. Six months ago, Remy revised the will, but he never executed it. What the hell are you talking about? In order for the will to be valid, it needs to be signed. Well, God damn it, woman, I know that. What does it mean for us? It means I have grounds to contest. Remy and I were business partners in several ventures, and one of my holding companies lists the land as an ancillary asset. Sounds like a lawyer's wet dream. What's something like that gonna run me? I haven't the slightest idea. Nearly every cent I got is tied up in that goddamn casino. I can't afford a big legal fight. There's got to be another way out of this mess. Steven is coming to town for the funeral. I could arrange a meeting. Offer him a percentage of the casino's profits if he signs over the land. Yeah. Yeah, that could work. And then once he signs, we take care of him. All right, set it up. But my patience is at its goddamn end. Do you understand, Olivia? I'm tired of this bullshit. Have a little faith, Sal. Now, Mr. Clay entered the country club disguised as a waiter. Everyone in attendance was a rich asshole or part of the Southern Union, so getting Lincoln in there was easy. You put a black man in a uniform and he's damn near invisible. Hell, I drove in through the front gate and dropped him off. No one even gave us a second look. No. Surely, his uniform wasn't enough to get him past Mrs. McConnell's personal security detail. I mixed up a vial of fast-acting LSD. You know, same basic formula that we use as part of MK Ultra, and I gave it to Lincoln. He used a syringe to put a couple of drops into every drink he served. <laughs> Within a couple of minutes, anyone who drank that concoction was whacked out of their goddamn mind. Fuck me. What? What happened? I never learned how to tie a bow tie. <laughs> you sure you're up for this? Shit, I'll get in there and dose the guards with his military-grade LSD and get to Olivia. Don't let those pricks goad you into anything. Remember, you won't be able to take any weapons with you. How's it going, buddy? Follow the driveway up to the left. Got the case, the syringe is in there. And remember, the drug acts fast. It'll fuck up whoever gets a dose real quick. Good. No sense in giving anyone time to figure out what's happening. Let me get a look at you. Mm. If they kill you, at least they'll have something nice to bury you in. <laughs> fuck you. You see everybody else got here on time. Them crackers put their hands all over everybody else. Lazy nigga, that's their job. Had me out there, fucking asked me where I got my car, where I'm from. You best get in that uniform or get out of my goddamn kitchen, Claudia. Follow me. Get a rag on that counter. Look like a goddamn rat's nest. Miss Olivia's gonna be out soon. She gonna say some words for old Mr. Remy. Can't stand a lazy nigga. Nothing low on the face of God's earth. Get one of those out there to them folks and serve them their drinks. And don't go talking to any of them, you hear? You ain't been paid. Get them folks their drinks now.
Ah, stop right there. Hold on. You ain't been paid to stand around, boy. Go serve them poor folks. Drink up, motherfuckers. So, do they have a suspect? Now the one. Old Earl set to send some of his boys out to the holler, rattle some of them monkeys' cages. I don't see it being one of the coloreds. Fucking apes was never too smart, but you don't watch them. They get vicious real quick. First, I'd like to personally thank y'all for coming to see our dear friend Remy Duvall off. I know with all of the violence that has reached its way into our community, it might have felt safer just to stay at home or even leave town. But you did what Remy would have done. You held your head high and you didn't run away. It's not exaggerating to say that Remy was a brave man. But his bravery is not what I'll miss most about him. What I'll miss most about Remy Duvall is that he gave this city... No, he gave us a voice. The man who murdered Remy robbed this city of someone who honored its history. Not only that, Remy respected our shared Christian heritage, which extends all the way back to Europe. Remy was a dear, dear friend of mine. A dear friend to all of us. In the coming days and weeks, let's honor his memory by taking back our city, by preserving the way of life we hold dear to Remy. To Remy. I mean, every last goddamn oh. dime is gone. Yeah, you. Get the bottles. What am I gonna tell the other brothers? We'll remind them to maintain white pride, brother. Because right now, it's the only thing the Southern Union has to its name. Yes, I'll miss him too. Essentially, that inharmonious clause lets the FHA sidestep integration. Technically, the landlord can point at that and tell your colored friends to be on their way. Frankly, the case is a loser, a non-starter. Hey, I've never actually bring that seen bottle over here. Either. I had some money. It's not Maybe. Spill it. What do you know? Well, let's just say there was a yep. lot more to the Duval fortune when his daddy died. Sure thing. We find that Sean who killed he Remy, he's gonna wish he was dead. Reginald, please keep your voice down. What? Oh, he's probably one of the good Get ones. Get over here with that bottle, man. My condolences. Remy would have appreciated you being here on his account. She hands me these brochures in Mexico, Brazil, Honduras. I put them right in the trash. I said, honey, if I'm going to spend my hard earned money on a vacation, I want to go somewhere with a civilized language. So, we're going to visit her folks in Hartford again. Whatever you say, you were parched. Have some wine. Big, big 
old man Dingo, nigga. Hey, new guy, you can smoke over here. You see how Clarence is behaving? Looks like he's got a touch of whatever's going around out there. <laughs> Ask me, it couldn't have happened to a nicer fella. Serves him right. Nigga this, nigga that. It's every other word that comes out of his mouth. Bad enough hearing it from all these white folks don't need to get it from one of our own. Maybe after this, he'll rethink how he runs things around here. That'll be the damn day. Men on the moon? I could give a shit. Cause they're all gonna be white. Fuck them. Amen. Mm -hmm. Damn straight. I'd think twice before going out there. Something's gotten into those folks. Something bad. I don't care what Clarence says, I'm staying in here. Those people have gone crazy. Then cut that crap. What was I saying now? I just... <laughs> I wish I could show you. <laughs> it's all connected. You see? We, you, <laughs> Coming for us. We're all coming for you, Barbara. Oh, good. <laughs> Goddamn Donovan. Yes. These people are in mind. I see Remy. No. Something wait. is wrong. No. Get me I out of here one. now. Yes, ma'am. I want additional me. men placed on the front door and around back. No one's allowed in or out without my say-so. Should I say something to the guests? Such as? You saw them. They've all come down <laughs> with some kind of... For Ms. Marcano? Yeah. I mean, yes, sir. Go on through. Put it on the ball. Has DeGamo signed yet? No, ma'am. And they've been beating on him pretty hard. Take one of his hands, see if that changes his mind. We need to get away from here before whatever is happening downstairs gets worse. I think our Negro friend here is a little dim. Won't someone get him out of here? All right, big boy. Time for you to take a walk. Miss Olivia, this get should down. be fun. Shoot that bastard! This is where you die! Cover my ass! Don't you know? on the ball. Has DeGamo signed yet? 
No, ma'am. And they've been beating on him pretty hard. Take one of his hands, see if that changes his mind. We need to get away from here before whatever is happening downstairs gets worse. I think our Negro friend here is a little dim. Won't someone get him out of here? All right, big boy. Time for you to take over. Lydia, get down, I'll bail you. Shoot back, bastard. Fucking stuck. <laughs> get behind something. Someone protect Miss McConnell. Yes. Precisely. The first time I saw Lucio, he looked so handsome. Dash, even. He wore the finest suits, drove the best cars. There was always something terribly romantic about all of this. <gasps> Ain't nothing romantic about robbing and killing people. Well, maybe not. But it certainly was Where's the Garmo? Uh, the Garmo. Uh, they have me out in a building. Down by the water. Uh, thought you were gonna kill me. You ain't worth the trouble. Y'all sit on that shit. Don't let him get at it. Woo, this boy's dead. asking you a second time, boy. You've a sign over that land, hmm? I swear to Christ, I will bust every fucking bone in your body. You hear me? Hmm? I'm not... I'm not signing a damn thing!
fuck was that noise? What the shit was that? I think I heard something. Hey, man. You're talking to yourself. Cause I ain't listening. Hey, man. Focus on the job. What the hell was that? Hey, man. Whatever you say. How you doing, brother? Come on, we got a job to do. Hey, man. Yup. You all right? Yada, yada, yada. How you doing, brother? Don't distract me. That didn't sound right. Oh, 
Is it a way you can Fuck that! Come on, son! Thank you, Wolf. Get behind him! This here's the last day of miserable life! He's picking us off! Get a piece of them, but I'm first. Bring the cover. Boy knows how to shoot. I do everything myself. Gamo, I'm gonna get you out of here, but we need to move. Marcano's probably sending more men. Yeah. Okay. If they brought me here in my own car, I think it's still near. Yeah. Oh, God. Don't fuck on his self kill. He's dead. Stop the car. I want to get out. That's a bad idea. Let me the fuck out! You're gonna kill me. Some wheels over here. I'm fucking blattered. Couldn't drive it, my life depended on it. Try me later. Can you get the boys in blue to back the fuck off? Gotcha.
sure you use some wheels over here. Aye. I'll get her out to you right away. Four wheels and an engine. They're set. Appreciate it. How long you think you'll last out there? Marcano ain't gonna rest till he finds you. He broke my hand! Shit! I just wanna go home. I know. Listen, I got a friend. He's gonna keep an eye on you for a while, keep you safe. At least till things calm down. Okay, thank you. You saved my life. Don't mention it. Lincoln left him with me, and I got him the hell out of there. And you still know DeGarmo's whereabouts? <laughs> like I tell any of you assholes. Good morning, Ms. Marcano. I'm here with your breakfast. Let's freshen this room up. Get some of that sunlight in here. That's better. Are you telling me Lincoln Clay did not murder Olivia Marcano? He didn't kill women unless he had no other choice. I find that very hard to believe. <laughs> Back in 67, we were in a bar in Saigon, and this gook bitch comes strolling in. Skirt barely covering her ass, and she starts offering everybody blowjobs. G.I. wants sucky-fucky. Hmm? G.I. wants boom-boom. Then she pulls out a grenade, and she kills three guys. A couple Marines in the bar want to cut that bitch's head off, but Lincoln stops them. Keeps them off of her until the MPs show up. If he wasn't going to kill that slag, he sure as fuck wasn't going to kill Olivia Marcano. Who'd you send? Oh, I did it myself. Yeah, to ear. Just like you wanted. And it's Shana Tagamo? Gone. I, mean, I look everywhere. It's like he never even fucking existed. Well, this is a goddamn mess if ever I saw one. Between Duval's will and his fucking Lincoln Clay, it seems this shit's never gonna end. At least we don't have to cut Duval in on the action anymore. <laughs> you trying to be funny? <clears throat> Tagamo's lawyer is gonna keep this tied up in court for years. I ain't got that kind of time, you understand? Or money. There's got to be someone we can get to, force them to make this right. It takes a lot of pull. Pull we ain't got. Could always call Leo Galante and ask him. Fuck him! The whole reason I'm building this goddamn casino is to get out from under them worthless fucks. Now I bring in the commission. They're gonna want to cut everything. God damn it. Go on, get the hell out of here. I gotta make this call. <laughs> yeah, Sal, how the fuck are you? Listen, I got something I need to discuss. I tried to reconcile the part of me that helped Lincoln with the part of me that vowed to follow the teachings of Jesus Christ. But I can't. You know what I remember? I remember watching the news and learning they had gunned down Dr. King. I remember watching people lash out, riot, because that's all they had left. All the while, Lincoln's in the other room, barely clinging to life. Maybe that's why I did what I did. Bye. 
about time you showed up. I put Olivia Marcano in the hospital, but I'll be surprised if she makes it through the night. Sal's gonna know that he's lost Frisco Fields, that we've taken over his drug operations there and shut down his fucking greengrocer. He won't let that stand. You only asked my guys to secure one of these rackets. Fine, no skin off my ass who locks shit down. The only part I give a fuck about is who's running the show. And by your choosing, that's me. Asking me to lock down half the district is a nice gesture and all, especially considering you haven't given me shit since we off the butcher. But we all know the real money is in running the entire district. You come in here preaching patience and understanding, yet out there, you just fuck with us. Last time you called me to secure one of those rackets, I didn't see jack shit for it. This time you don't call me at all. Consider yourself warned, cause I'm on the fucking edge. Anytime you want to make a call, I'm good with that. A nation once again, a nation once again, and Ireland long a province be a nation once again. Are you just another two-faced asshole? I gotta say, this action's perfect for Cassandra. When we're out there on the street, you act as if the blood we put on the line matters to you. But then we get in here and you toss it away like it don't mean a damn thing. Sit down, Burke. You just embarrassing yourself. If I'm being honest, I think you just made a big mistake. I got guys putting their asses on the line for you, and they expect some kind of payback. So far, all they got is a nice cold fuck you. Time to get back at it. Let's clear out. At the time, I, I understood the pain Lankin was in. Come home from war expecting peace. But in Lankin's case, all he found was pain. Heartbreak. Ain't no way that doesn't drive you down into the muck and mire. Anyways, I was, uh... I was thinking hoping really that uh, if I could help him find a little closure, maybe we could shift his focus away from the Marcanos. See, he was in a coma when we laid Sammy and Ellis to rest, so he ain't never had a chance to say his goodbyes. Thought maybe if he did, he might see that he had a chance at a normal life. There ever was a soul more wrong than I. I do not know him. I think us going to Sammy's like this is gonna do you a lot of good, Lincoln. I'll be honest with you, Father. 
I hardly see the point in it. It's a hard thing to let go and uh, say goodbye. Saying goodbye won't give me what I want, Father. Maybe what you want isn't what you need, son. Y'all, Lily called yesterday. Checking up on you again. Think she's setting her mind on doing something with Samus. Hmm. Can't hardly see what. The shape it's in and all. Well, she's always been a woman of determination. Don't know if you recall, but after Perla passed, Sammy went to a dark place. Buried the loss deep down. Started running girls out of the back of the bar at all hours of the night. Finally, Lily had had enough. She marched in with the fire of God inside of her, kicked all those girls out, customers, Sammy's crew. And boy, if she didn't lay into her brother like I've never seen, told him he was doing wrong by Perla. But more importantly, he was doing wrong by you boys, sending a message that their mother didn't matter. From that point on, there was no more prostitution in that place. Huh. All I remember from that time is Aunt Lily swooping in and taking us to her place for a few nights. Getting ice cream and such. She protected you boys. Family like that's a gift from God, son. on out front. You need to get on inside. Hey, what the hell? Help me! Oh god, they come in! Who is? Them. Get back here, Anna. Stay with her. Let's go. Come on. Where'd you come from? He's right! Lincoln, this here's Anna, and those men. Dealt with, but if more come, I want y'all out of here. One of my parishioners, she's out of town, has an apartment in Tickfall. It's safe. You, you don't know that. I'll take her there. Meet me when you're ready. All right, gonna take a look around inside first. Covered in blood. Covered. Locked. Blood. Locked. Covered in blood. Locked. <laughs> Jesus. Who the fuck were those people? Should use my recon camera here. Everybody tells a story. Shot him as he was running away.
Interesting. signs of being restrained. Looks like he took a knife to the gut. Covered in blood. That's what that girl Anna was saying. Oh, maybe for a ceremony of some kind. Sense of something. This thing looks ritualistic. These markings. Strangest thing. seen a card like this flowers hand painted some kind of tattoo might mean something like you messed with the wrong girl. Think I have what I need. Should go meet with Father James. Ligature marks. Must have had him tied up. So they drag him in here, but when he tries to escape, they shoot him dead. But why were they in here at all? All right, that's all there is. Time to go. combat stress reaction but I think the term that I always preferred was uh, shell shock we all heard it said before that uh, war is hell ain't no surprise there 
the pain, the guilt, the anger and the rage for what you were forced to do in a wartime situation. Sticks to your soul. So I, uh, I knew right then and there that whatever that girl was going through was some kind of war. Cause there was hell burning in her eyes. I've been talking to Anna about those men over at Sammy's. They didn't drag her over there. She went with him, willingly. That don't make any sense. This girl was running for her life. And on the inside of Sammy's, there were three words written on the wall. Covered in blood. Never seen anything like it. Sammy ever tell you boys stories about the Asanglante? Sure. Thought he was just trying to scare us. Asanglante is French for covered in blood. Now, they can be traced back to the original settlers who came here looking for a new life, but instead found only death. It all turned around when they incorporated the new ceremonies into their religious practice. Like human sacrifice. That part always stuck with me. So you think Anna's one of them? All I know for certain is that girl is mixed up with a bunch of very bad people. Lincoln? I need to show you something. Can you shed any light on this? Look, Cher. My eyes have been on you for weeks now. I see the shit you put up with around here. It's not so bad. What about the way Phil back there can't keep his hands off your ass? Or the way the cheap bastards around here never leave you a tip? That not so bad? This place ain't ever gonna deliver the happiness you deserve. But we can. Why are you saying such sweet things to me? Maybe you shouldn't be asking why I'm saying these things to you. But why hasn't someone said them to you soon? Be part of us and a baby. Fun, she made me feel welcome, like I belonged. Is that why you went to Sammy? Well, they didn't give me a choice. They said it was the only way that I could be purified. Let me go. I won't say anything. Please. Well, I, I tried to stop them, but I, I, I couldn't. I, 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 I just had to get out of there, and, and he... The, 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 the crying. And the tears and, and, and the blood, he was choking the, the, the sadness. Look at me, Anna. People like this have a process for indoctrinating folks. Where else did Bonnie take you? <laughs> A nightclub. Uh, Louis Blanche, that's where they bring people into the family. Yeah, I know it. The hippie club downtown. And that plane, 
That's the only way they'll let you inside. Got you. I, I hey, you did good here, Anna. Hmm? You did good. I did good. Be careful of the fallen sky. The mind is in the flesh. Consumes. The sky falls, the mind is in the mind is in the flesh. Consumes. This girl needs help. Doctors and nurses looking after her. Do you really think that's what will happen? girl like her with nothing to her name? I mean, they'll toss her in a padded cell and just forget about her. We both know how much the city cares for the poor and the infirmed. So we're all she's got. I'll get her some nourishment. You do what you got to do, son. Thanks, father. <laughs> 